today is clean everything today. I just went to the laundry, put my load in there. I'm in the process of uh, washing the boat down. I got my my water, my brush over here, scrubbing as I go. And I've done this over here. I'm rinsing this off back here, but this is uh, gonna be pretty much what I'm gonna be doing today is cleaning this up, doing laundry, settling down. And it's, it's blowing pretty good right now. So it's probably a good time to not to be on anchor and to be tucked in here. Uh, I may be here another night. I'm still not sure. We'll have to see what the weather brings. All right, bye. Here I am at Palm Cove Marina, uh, where my friend John from Sailor John came and told me to come up. And these are some of his friends that he met here. I'm just going to let you go ahead and introduce yourself, say hi to John, tell you who you are and where you're from and stuff like that. You're on. Go. Hey, John. Hope to see you on Thanksgiving again. Going to go to Peach Bar. Going to do our Bloody Marys. John. Here's Shano. And here's another Shane. guy. Have you bought a boat yet? You owe me a dollar? <laughs> Uh, Rick James, bitches. Hope everything's going well with you, buddy. Okay. Good luck. One more. Robert. Hey John. We in St. Augustine, buddy. All right. Well, that's it. This is this is our our our, Robert. our gathering. Uh, we've been here for a while. People have come and gone, but uh, I'm gonna head back and just went, wanted to give John an opportunity to see your all ugly mugs again. <laughs> all right. Later. Well, woke up this morning. Uh, it was 50 degrees, wind blowing a little bit. I thought I was done with all the cold weather, but I got my other warmer outfit on, got my beanie on. Still, I only have shorts on though. But uh, I was, I thought I was done with this cold, colder, chillier weather. It's not really cold compared to a lot of places, but I woke up, it was like right at 50, 49, 50 degrees this morning, which after the last few days of, you know, close to 80, it was uh, a little bit chilly for me. And this morning, I don't know, it's about eight o'clock right now. I'm just gonna take another walk up to the store, just pick up a couple of uh, little quick items and probably try to head out of here. Uh, hopefully by 10 o'clock it'll be, the sun will be out. It'll warm up a little bit more. And I'll head on uh, back down to uh, St. Augustine. And like I said, I still don't know what I'm gonna be doing there. Now there are, you know, days, weeks, uh, I really don't know. I'll have to wait and see what the weather conditions are doing, the wind conditions, and and, and my my attitude, uh, what I want to do. But uh, like I said, right now this morning I'm going to go ahead and make a quick trip to the grocery store, which is really really close. It's uh, it's basically literally. I don't know, a thousand yards that, that way down the road. I said, it takes longer almost to walk through the parking lot than it does to walk to the store. Now I'm just gonna get a couple things, come back to the boat and figure out when I'm gonna leave. We'll see you later. Well, I'm headed down again. Um, I got a late start. I didn't get out till almost like 11.30. But uh, one of the reasons we've had it, the Northeast has been blowing, you know, 15 some miles an hour, gust up to almost 30 and stuff. And it was pretty cool, pretty chilly this morning. Uh, and so I, I timed it, I'm hoping pretty much, like right now, I'm going, uh, well, I would normally be going about five miles an hour, I'm going like six and a half miles an hour. So I've got the current with me, uh, the wind is behind me, and I, I kind of timed it where right about I'll hit slack tide on the intercoastal same way 
be slack tide when I get to a certain point and the current will start carrying me back down towards St. Augustine to give me a little boost that way. So getting a later start isn't really delaying me, it's just making my trip a little bit easier, I hope. Um, so we'll, we'll let you know what happens if I, with any luck, I'll be in St. Augustine this afternoon, hopefully, or hopefully sooner than later. I hope before five o'clock, uh, not half for six, that's for sure. But I don't know for sure what I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go ahead and grab a mooring bottle, try to anchor, or what. I'll wait till I get down there and see what the tides and the currents really are, because I'm hearing a lot of conflicts and reports about how bad it is. But we'll find out when I get down there. See you later. Here I am, I'm back again. I uh, just wanna let everybody know, I just got into St. Augustine. Like, just got into St. Augustine, hooked up on a mooring ball. So I'm all safe and sound. Uh, I'm not gonna get off the boat tonight, but tomorrow I gotta bring you over to the marina. We're on the other side of a little peninsula from Maxwell Marina. I have to go in and do all my official checking in, checking out. And right there is the actual old city of uh, St. Augustine. So I'll be able to get over there tomorrow and check some of that out. Uh, get up with my old buddy, John, from Salem to John. He's uh, got an apartment here and he's got himself a job. So he won't be available until uh, later, later on. Noon we're gonna get together and have a beer tomorrow. And, uh, after that, I still don't know what my plans are. Give me a couple days to figure it out, and I'll let everybody know what's going on. But right now, I'm here safe and sound in a mooring ball in St. Augustine. Imagine that. All right, bye now.